Allons-y. Hi. I'm Malon. But I'm pretty sure you already knew that. I don't make a very good, um, calendar, not calendar, appointment reminder. So, uh, don't put me in charge of that if you ever have the chance. Most people think I'm rather good at it. I beg to differ, honestly. I do, I do. So I found this video from when I was 11 years old, alright? I had these group of friends. Always fun. Never a dull moment because I always wanted to be productive and I always wanted my friends to be productive. Not really in that sense I wasn't always thinking, Hey, I think we should be productive today. No, it was more like, I'm bored and I want to do something and you guys suck because you don't do anything ever. Except, that never happened because we always did everything all the time. We would make movies, play games, we'd make games. I'm pretty sure I was getting at something. Oh yes! We no longer talk, ever. Sure, we're friends on Facebook, but honestly, that means nothing. Zilch. Nada. Zip. So right, we had a grand old time in our little sandbox, swapping stories of our next game to play, or even saying ridiculous things like, Come eight years? We should live together. I don't think we sounded like that because we were children. If I heard a kid that sounded like that, I would probably run. Or make friends with them. Probably the latter. But you know what? That never happened. Well, I don't talk to them anymore. Not a word. I've tried saying hello. Apparently they don't know how to say hi. Right, it's so simple. Hello! Oh, it's Malon. Run. I'm on a swivel chair, if you couldn't tell. These things are fascinating. Whoever invented these needs a medal. The medal of the swivel chair. Great honor, a great honor to be, to be part of this uh, invention. I'll see a friend that I haven't seen in years. And we'll sit down, we'll have a little chat, and I'll be really excited to see them, because I haven't seen them in years, and we we'll speak best friends. Bosom buddies! But we don't, we don't have anything in common. And I'm starting to think we never did have anything in common. In fact, all of those friendships that I had were forced friendships. Oh, me and my past buds, all we have in common is the past. Well, the past is fun. Without that, I wouldn't be... Where I am today. No, I know what you're thinking, Milan. That's self-explanatory. Of course you wouldn't be who you were today without your past. Well, some people don't understand it. I just thought I'd explain that. Ha! <laughs> I love when my family talks about me when I'm supposed to be sleeping, but I'm not sleeping because they're talking loud. To take it even a step further so I don't understand them, they speak in Tagalog. And then I think... Hello! I've, I've been listening to you talk about me for years in another language. You don't think I'm gonna understand you this time? What makes this time any different than last time? That's all it is when I was growing up. They always talk behind my back. Except they never had to go behind my back, did they? Because they just, they just talk right in front of me because they thought I didn't understand. And sometimes, sometimes I reply to them, you know, in English. And they freak out a bit. And I just laugh. <laughs> hey, you like my nerd wall? There's nothing in my room that would make you think that I am a bigger nerd than you already thought I was. So, nothing to hide. I've been really into Doctor Who. Anybody who is not friends with me on Facebook does not know that I've been in the biggest Doctor Who phase ever. Doctor Who. Doctor Who, oh, hi, Silver Chair, again. I'm gonna stop this little ranter. Ranter, ranter! I just, I just mixed rant and banter together. That's not a word, folks. Forgot to say Casey Peterson's birthday. It's Friday, oh, Friday. <laughs> Happy birthday, you are now 19. I've known you for almost five years. That's fun. You know what? You're one of the oldest friends I have. Isn't that sad? I think that's a little sad. But I love you. And, uh, we should go to London. And Seattle. And other places. In fact, we should just travel. How about it? You and me, we'll take some friends. Back up in our suitcases. 
Great! Look forward to seeing you there. Today I said goodbye to a friend I've only had for four months. So what are you up to, son? I like trains. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, you, you do. do. Five. Oh my gosh, I feel like blind dancing now. <laughs> it's almost been six months. Okay, that's almost half a year, people. Daniel Lockheim. It was, was awesome. Bye. I miss you already. Is that is that weird? No. Because I was thinking it when I was saying bye. I was like, ah, oh, I'm gonna miss this guy. And then you left, and I was like, oh, I miss that guy. Plain things. <laughs> I'm so childish, a little bit wildish. With my rum diddly um diddly um di, I'm so mad! Only problem is, it's summer and it's hot! <laughs>